young people. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, coming your way today with the gospel of peace and love. We welcome everybody that's here tonight and those on the internet. Praise God. Trust that you'll enjoy the service tonight and receive a blessing. Hallelujah. This is a day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, this is the day. I'm 
unto thy name. My lips shall praise thee, thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. Thy loving kindness is better than love. Thy loving kindness is better than love. My lips shall praise thee, thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. I lift my hands, Lord, unto thy name. I lift my hands, Lord, unto thy name. My lips shall praise thee, that's will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. Hallelujah. We lift your name up, Lord. Praise God. Lift Jesus higher. Lift Jesus higher, lift him up for the world to see. He said if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Lift Jesus higher, lift Jesus higher, lift him up for the world to see. He said if I be lifted up upon the earth, I will draw all men to me. Let's lift Jesus higher, lift Jesus higher, lift him up for the world to see. He said, If I be lifted up upon the earth, I will draw all men unto me. what Moses did in the wilderness to the children of Israel. Uh, they were getting sick, some of them, and some were dying, and God told Moses to build a brass serpent and put it up on the pole and lift it up so the people could see it. All who looked on that brass serpent were healed. Those that didn't look died. So we need to lift Jesus. That was a symbol, uh, the serpent was a symbol of Jesus. And, you know, because of that, uh, we have that symbol for the medical department today with that serpent on the cross. But that's, that's where that came from. Someone have a chord you'd like to sing? Jesus on the main line. <laughs> Jesus on the main line, tell me what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Just call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Oh, if you want a blessing, tell him what you want. If you want a blessing, tell him what you want. If you want a blessing, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Oh, Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want, Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want, Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want, Jesus on the main line now. If you want salvation, tell him what you want, if you want salvation, tell him what you want, if you want salvation, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Just call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. If you want a healing, tell him what you want. 
If you want to heal it, tell him what you want. If you want to heal it, tell him what you want. He's the son of man right now. Just call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Take us on the main line now. Hallelujah. Jesus is on the main line. Hallelujah. He's there 24-7. If you have a problem, all you can do is call him up and say, Lord, it's me again, Lord. I have this problem I can't solve. And he will help you with that. Praise the Lord. Someone else have a point. Amazing grace. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is God's amazing grace that we're here today. Yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch. louder than Dave and I went I made a joke about it I go am I supposed to be louder for the vows but you know <laughs> I wanted to do a praise report um on last night we had we had a uh, prom from free on the inside that went on 
And Jeff and Patty um, went and invited us to a spot to do it last minute, and we decided to go. It was our first dancing together as man and wife. It was awesome. But, you know, I realized in my dancing, I was going around in a circle and then turning around and going back the other way in a circle. And I realized I've always had equilibrium problems. I should have been falling down or at least looking drunk. And none of it happened. And I was praising God and, you know, it was a wonderful night. Anyway, so um, it's healings. So, praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. Praise report. All right. We had a couple of dental miracles today. We had one in church this morning. Yeah. And yes. then Man. we also, uh, Leroy and myself prayed for my daughter who was having tooth pain and we yeah. prayed for her and the pain went away. That's right. And Amen. Same service, two dental miracles. Praise, so praise God. God. Yeah. And then another praise report. Um, it's been difficult for a lot of people, including my daughter, to get a job, and she got an interview All right. this coming week. So we'll keep praise her God, so, we'll be praying for that. So praise God is He is faithful. Yes, yes. Amen. God is faithful, even even when things look impossible. God, God is faithful. Yeah. The Holy Lord. Spirit is so sweet yeah. and so wonderful to have. He's with us. Yes. Good word, yeah. sister. <laughs> Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. darkened world, mm -hmm. we can point them to Jesus, the light of the world. And since Jesus isn't here, he's within us, then we become the light of the world. But it's up to us to tell people the good news of a loving and caring Lord. Someone else have a word. Someone out there has got something, but I can feel it. <laughs> okay, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> We were uh, taking Leroy to Albertsons and had a phone call, and she is uh, doing much better, and she's been, uh, we've been praying for her, for healing, for tell the us, tell us who you're family. About, well, um, it's Diane Hutchison. Yes. We've been praying for her, and we've got a praise report. She is doing much better. She's out of the household. Praise God. That is... Um, it's not a very good household. It's got drugs coming through. And the kids, just pray for the kids. Mm -hmm. Because um, the kids are suffering right now. And so, um, but I just give God the praise. She'll be here next week. Yeah, oh, praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Patty. Someone else? Dave, you have a word? 
Well, hey, Adam, Adam, you have a word? <laughs> I guess uh, I should have refined that. <laughs> There's two Daves here. It's <laughs> double that. Yeah. A man, David, the man after God's own heart. And, and one of the things, I guess that's a word. Okay. Uh, men. You know, it's amazing. Uh, we need to learn to be led by the Holy Spirit. And that's sometimes, right. Amen. You know, my brother said here, I had a word. And I didn't have a word until I walked up behind the pulpit. <laughs> behind the pulpit. I didn't know what it was. Um, but in this day and age, we as men, men, spiritual leaders of our households and men who preach the gospel, but just men, we need to take a stand for the gospel. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this day and age, people are looking for leaders. They're right. looking for men who can live by faith. Amen. They're looking for men who can example the faith. Yes. Uh, and so the word that I have for people that are here and, and watching is um, we have to be men. We have to stand up and be counted and stand to true to the well, gospel. That, that applies to women too. Not just yes, that applies to women. <laughs> but, <laughs> but one stand of the, up and be counted. Yes, it does. But. The word that I have is specifically to men, and in some areas, men, we've fallen down. And we have not been the spiritual leaders we need to be. Uh, and so women, yes, uh, you know, there's a strong word there, but specifically targeted to men. Uh, we need to stand up, and we need to be the men of God that we need to be to lead our children, to Amen. lead society. Because uh, you just watch the news, watch the news, and you know that there's a lot of problems in the world. Yeah. So the question I have for us is, where is your faith? Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, God. Where is your faith? Don't give little faith. <laughs> so that's the word. Okay. Be strong and courageous in the gospel. Be strong and courageous. By the power of his might. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. It's, it's, it's time for it's time for Double Dave to stand up. Time for another Dave. It's time for okay. the Daves to stand up. <laughs> Dave and, and Dave. And actually the truth is I don't have a word, but I have an urging. I think it's the Lord saying, do this. So I'm going to share a song, a cappella. Okay. There's a line that's been drawn through the ages. And on that line stands an old rugged cross. And on that cross, one bleeding and dying, for a world of lost sinners he slain. Hallelujah. It is finished, there'll be no more sorrow. Yes, it is finished, Hallelujah. there'll be no more pain. Right. It is finished, the battle is over. It is finished, and Jesus has won. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Sweep over my soul. Sweep over my soul. Sweet Spirit, sweep over my soul. Let it breathe. 
But while I was there, God said, talk to the, the fellow that owns the Montgomery Hall that we want to revive. And Dave and I, or Dave, Jeff and I discussed that and said, yeah, let's have a revival. So, so I set it up with David down there, and the revival is going to be here in Albany. It'll be uh, March the 16th, 17th, and 18th. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening, and it'll start at 7 p.m. Yes. And I'm putting the word out right now that those who would like to sing or play an instrument or would have a word, you're welcome to take part in the service. That's, it's not about me. Amen. It's not about Jeff. That's right. It's about God. Yes. That's right. And that's what yeah. we have to do. Yep. We have to let God rule and the Holy Spirit rule yep. in our lives and in our hearts. So yes. now I'm devoting my prayer time to the revival in March. And we also have one coming up in, in April. Someone said, well... You know, that's too close to have a revival. No, it ain't. Mm -hmm. You get people stirred up, you want to keep them stirred up. And so, get my trusty uh, calendar out here. <laughs> we have uh, a revival scheduled at the same Montgomery Center, um, April the 12th, 13th, and 14th, with friends of mine from Crescent City, California. Heaven's Connection. They are a family uh, singing group and they're all ordained ministers. Mm -hmm. And so I'm looking forward to that too. And you can pass the word along. We'll have all the flyers done up in time to pass them out and you can hand them out. Uh, actually, uh, Virgil Taylor, the one at Heaven's Connection, I'm getting ready to mail him the uh, poster the paper that I had on the revival so he can make up flyers. He said that he would make up the flyers and mail them to me. So they'll be here in plenty of time. And both revivals, uh, we can we can advertise that over the internet, mm -hmm. but it's going to be on radio also. I'll have it read, advertised on the local radio station and the local newspapers. So you can be praying toward that end. Praise God. And I, I was praying and talking to the Lord about a subject for tonight. And I had a subject I was going to speak on. But God says, no, you speak what I tell you to speak. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing. I, I'm up here flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs> As the old saying goes, I have I nothing yes, prepared. Uh-oh. <laughs> but I'm, I'm here. So if you have a question for me right now, I'd be glad to try to answer that for you concerning these revivals or something else. Because I'm allowing the Holy Spirit to move and work through me. And I'm tired of people, you know, um, claiming to be God's people and they won't fellowship one with another. Mm -hmm. Now that's a travesty, and I'm tired of that, mm -hmm. and I'm coming against it. You know, uh, Patty spoke on this morning, doing spiritual warfare. Well, I'm here to tell you that I have done spiritual warfare for the last two weeks concerning that revival in California. Everywhere I turned, I got a negative answer, a dead end. And so when I called it off and canceled it, peace came into my heart. That heavy burden on my shoulders was lifted. And I'm here to tell you, it feels good. And like I said, there's people that's mad at me, but they'll have to get over that. That's, that's not my thing. I'm in the, the, the will of God doing what he wants me to do. Yep. Praise God. And... Uh, I'm still doing the television program. I just mailed off a, a tape to California because I'm on three stations in California. And I mailed one to Eureka just this last week. Now, I've got two weeks reprieve before I have to get more tapes out. 
So that'll give me time to get prepared. And I've got several uh, tapes and archives that I can put on TV. And I've got three, t three tapes to do for Salem this next, within the next two weeks and get them out. And then I have uh, one to California. So you might be in prayer with me about that. And uh, Friday night we went to uh, a home Bible study mm -hmm. and we heard a special lady speak and I was asked to videotape that. And it was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I do have it on tape and I did run a DVD for uh, um, Jim. Mm -hmm. And I run me a copy of that too, but I also have a mask. So if somebody would like to see that, I'd be glad to loan out my copy. You can watch it if it wasn't there. And you will be blessed, and she is going to come back again. And I'm here to tell you, Patty, you got your feet wet this morning. So hang right in there. Dive in. <laughs> You'll be next in line to speak here. <laughs> I give you a fair warning, give you a chance to <laughs> work on that. And her husband, Jeff, he's going to be speaking here, too. But it, it was my turn tonight. <laughs> you know, uh, with all this trouble that's been going on with, with the revival and this stuff in California, I could have got down in the spirit uh, and said, woe is me, you know, in the mully grubs. But no, I didn't allow that to happen. I kept the victory. I kept on top of it. And I kept the victory, and I'm still shouting the victory tonight. And it's good to see everyone here tonight. I'm looking to fill this house shortly. I don't know, I have no timeline, but I, I can see it full. And it'll be good to have it full. We had it full here when my wife was alive. Uh, actually, when I was here, we came back from camp meeting in California, and... This was on a Friday night, and she told me, you're speaking Sunday night. <laughs> so, and she introduced me as her, it wasn't an associate pastor. We're pastoring together, co-pastor. So I did speak, and we had 30 here at that particular night. So we can hold 30 here in this house. And now that I have the monitor over here, um, be videotaping. The people that's sitting in the kitchen can see the monitor. They can hear the the sound here, but they couldn't see. But now they can. And when we're live streaming like we're doing tonight, we can hook into that monitor and you can have, still see it, and it'll be a live stream. Yeah. So, so, so I'm looking forward to great things happening. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Father, we thank you for this time that we've had together in your presence yes. to worship you in spirit and in truth. Yes. We pray that you would continue to lead us, guide us, and direct us into the path that you would have us to try, mm -hmm. to open the doors that you would have us to walk through, to minister for you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And I have a would it uh, be embarrassing to you, Kathy, to come up and be pray for you like that? Like, no, that's okay. Okay. Because we have all these prayer warriors here, and the more we have, the more that the, the demon spirits are going to go. Amen. The tormenting spirits, they can't stay. Nope. And I know I prayed for you and I felt it leave, but we're going to enforce that tonight. Yeah, <laughs> We get rid of it once and for all. Praise God.
Jesus, we need Father, we bring Kathy before you. Lord, we work hard against tormenting spirits. 